So we're here testing a um, HF radar system, which is a system that is a coastal based remote sensing system that measures currents in the water. The Straits of Mackinac is only about eight kilometers wide. That gives us a great place to test this system to see if it can really provide value in a freshwater environment that has a really high interest in terms of its ecological and economic importance. So one of the great values of this system is it provides us with a map of the surface currents across the whole straits, rather than a point measurement like a buoy. Here in the Straits of Mackinac, we've never till recently been able to do the combined model of Lake Michigan and Lake Huron, and hence know in the computer models that they are connected in the Straits of Mackinac. And with all the interest in the Straits recently, uh, it's great that we have kept up and kept ahead of that ability to predict the two lakes combined together and the flows they generate through the straits. In addition, when we have a system like this, it tells us not only that the currents have reversed, but how they've reversed, at what place in the system the currents are starting to change as they're going through that change, which is much better information when we're engaged in a search and rescue operation or if we're looking at a spill situation where we want to know where the spill is going to flow. It's also a system that in some cases can see hard targets in the water. So for instance, if a ship's going by, it knows that a ship is there and approximately what speed it's heading. So a portion of my research for the past 20 years has really focused on the development of this instrumentation for freshwater systems. We started 20 years ago with a test in Lake Michigan of a high frequency radar system, looking at ways we might tune that system to better work over freshwater. The results of that long time of research have really culminated in this experiment where we were able to set up two systems at the Straits of Mackinac in order to measure the currents over an area that's of really strong interest to the state. 